Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the CPU in one of these Dell Latitude uh, E6430s. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's already getting shut down. Um, it was in the shutting down progress because um, the, this hard drive isn't wiped and it has pictures on the desktop so anyways let's just get straight into it by unscrewing the screws on the bottom and you can see I got a cinema display cinema display from the dumpster or trash place whatever you want to call it Take out your battery first, and take out the DVD drive and the hard drive. Taking that out, you can see this thing is it. The bracket isn't screwed onto it, but whatever. So first, you want to unscrew these three screws right here. And now you can unclip this casing right here. Yep, just comes right out, pretty easy. And that is our socketed CPU right there. So first of all, you can start unscrewing CPU heatsink. And this thing can definitely go up to Windows 10 with the I don't know. It ha I think it has a Core i5 or something. But this one is obviously running Windows 7, so. Oh, these screws just come out. I'm assuming that these ones also come out. And what do I do next? Yep, that just comes out. And the fan is attached to the heatsink. Now, what you want to do is, of course, remove the CPU. This is a core. I, I don't know what it is. I'll have to look in the system and about system. But anyways, you can just lift it up. Do not touch the gold contacts. That can, you know, uh, have make your CPU not connect properly to, you know, the sock because finger oils. But anyways, it it's not always like that. If, if you accidentally touch that and you put it back in and it works, it's obviously fine. But anyways, now that you have your like new CPU, whatever CPU you have, you can pop it in there. And you can put it in. And, you know, secure it in. And this is your heatsink. You would obviously want to clean off these chips and put any thermal paste on them, but I'm not going to do that just yet. can just get that heat sink in there and screw it down.
Now, while I'm screwing this heatsink in, that cinema display that you saw at the beginning of the video, I got that from the dumpster, my local trash place where you can dump your trash. You just got, got to pay a fee. But I'm not going to say too much about it because, you know. But it's a really cool place. Uh, you can get all sorts of stuff from there. Uh, you can get old bikes, scooters. But, yeah. It's pretty much a place just to throw away your trash. So. But I got the cinema display from there. And there's two pieces of tape on it. It said, working, no problems. But I have seen one issue. Some of the pixels are bad. They, uh, you know, they just show random colors instead of, you know, what they're supposed to show. So, yeah. I also found a MacBook along with that uh, cinema display as well. So, they probably used it with that. So, now that um, everything's screwed down, everything's clipped in, you can just screw the casing back in, putting some of the other components back in as well. If you're using this laptop today, you know, and you don't want to upgrade, then don't upgrade because you could just upgrade the RAM or the CPU and then you're good to go. Windows 10 is still supported until like 2023, 2020, I think 2025. So you have full support until around then. So you can just put the hard drive back into the computer. Fitting in properly. That's weird. Should be able to fit in just fine. Not unless something's broken. I think the connector is in properly, or like the right way. Yeah. Wait, what if I just flip it over? Maybe that's the reason. No, it's supposed to go this way. I don't know why. Yeah, it's supposed to go in this way. Okay, let me just try and push it in without the... This is really weird. Okay, suppose, supposedly it's in. Let me try it without those thingies. Oh, that is super weird. Wait, let me try and put it in like this. Okay, okay, so it goes in that way. So it's just misaligned. Nope. There's something stuck. Something is stuck in that port. Oh, the fan connector. That's why. Um, well... Great. I gotta open it back up. 
sometimes you make mistakes or you have horrible memory like me. Even though I'm young. Basically what I'm trying to say is that sometimes you forget to do things. So I gotta open it back up. There's the fan connector. Connect that fan. Connect that. And now you can put your plastic handle on. Now you should fit inside it. It's my bad. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's in. Put your DVD drive back in and your battery. Now it should turn right back on. And oh, I keep putting it in the wrong way. It's supposed to go on this way. So it should be able to turn back on and detect this operating system. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Dell. The battery isn't reliable on this thing. What do you expect? So. Yep, starting Windows, it is still working. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and check out my Twitter at ufix5. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.